it later. Why is it not working? I want to talk about it. There we go. Okay. Found it. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Okay. This this part down here was not helpful at all. Okay. But but okay, so 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 the direct definitely did have a few interesting things. This one being one of them. Like lots of um uh, the MC design was pretty funny, I will say that. Uh, let me uh, get up to it, because obviously I'm not playing audio. Because I mean, like, look at that. Just, just what the... Like... <laughs> this, it's leaving a lot to be desired. And, and like, uh, like supposedly... The, the artist does have like a thing for hair like this, so that's honestly whatever, but I used to find it funny and the memes have a, a, a come out of it. Like he's toothpaste, Joy-Cons, and or Pepsi Man. That's pretty much what he devolved into, which I'm fine with. I'm honest to God fine with that. I don't care about Fire Emblem. I will definitely not get this game because I just don't like uh, the combat, but he is a little more on on, on the funny side. I, I will give him that. And, and like a couple of these characters are like cool or whatever, but it's him obviously. Oh yeah, and that's right. And he also summons spirits, so so you gotta have a way to to have the memorable cast actually mean something. Engage in some bitches as well. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, uh... Wrestle Combat, which is just standard Fire Emblem at this point, so that's nothing I'm going to exactly... exactly undo. And that was Alphonse, I think, so... Cool. Uh, what's with the next game again? I, I said everything I wanted to on Fire Emblem. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, and, oh, yeah, and uh, January 2023. So, decently close, uh, a few months away. Decently close. Uh, cool for, cool for Fire, cool for Fire Emblem fans. Very, very cool. Also, stuff like this is really cool. I, 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 I definitely do hope that these, like, um, additions with, like, um, with, like, um, the steelbooks and the books and all that. I hope that those are, like, more standardized in America rather than it being, like, overseas type thing because... Because steelbooks are cool as shit. They really are. I don't own one because they don't have them here. Fucking bullshit, I say. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, this one. This is an older... I, I would say older, but it's... But it's uh, definitely not... Not like new, new. It, but this is still a very good game to come to uh, the Switch. I will say that it's very good that it's coming to, 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 to uh, the Switch. Very, very happy with this one. Uh, this is like a perfect couch, couch uh, co-op game. So, which like what the Switch is like meant for. So very, very nice. Now, the only things I'm excited for are the N64 ports, the Final Fantasy VII prequel, and Breath of the Wild sequel. Yeah, yeah, parents. I'm kind of just like talk about everything all over again, really, and kind of, and kind of one. And kind of what went through my brain as I as I um, watched it, mainly because this could be a video. I'm not sure, but hey, why not? Wait, it takes two. Very happy about that. This. Wait, no, 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 no. Right. So, 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 I'm gonna pause this real quick. I'm gonna unmute this because I really, really want to want to um, comment on something because I found this very, very funny. So, so I just need to wait until the narrator starts, starts talking. After mysteriously vanishing as a child, Ruka Minasuki visits an abandoned hospital in search of her lost memories. Okay, so at that at that point, imagine if this was a guy instead. Send the meme. 
If you know, you know. If if you don't know, you don't know childbirth stuff. <laughs> I have I have a dirty brain, okay? That's that's the first thing that came to my brain what when this line was said. She has come to retrieve her power, and it's like, wait, it's like wait, I think that's a male only thing. So yeah, that's so that's where that's where my brain went. That's where my brain went. I was gonna say uh, for YouTube content. Yeah, exactly. Well, he's pretty much sure what this is. Uh, it's it's gonna be like what an hour long video, give or take, and it's probably gonna be up tomorrow or day after, depends on when I have time to edit, which is probably tomorrow. Hour? Uh, you mean the boobos you don't have? Wait, wait, wait. let me uh, yeah, a little bit. But yeah, like, you're right, though. You are right. <laughs> I ain't gonna deny that. I ain't gonna deny that. And, and, and Russ is, like, pretty, like, um... Ghost... Horror, psychological horror stuff. So... So definitely not something I'll pick up, but... But hey, for those who care, early 2023. That's cool. Oh yeah, this. This as well. This has my immediate interest because first of all, there are supposedly uh, four volumes of during the um, expansion game. Well, we'll pass. Um, expansion pass for, for Xenoblade 3. So this has me very tempted to actually pick it up. I'm very tempted to pick up uh, Xenoblade 3 and also like I've heard everyone talk really, really good things about uh, Xenoblade 3. Immediately better better than Zeno Blade 2, so so that's better. Sizzler as a waifu. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it was a standard Scooby game. Ah, gotcha. But yeah, like her, like like she's also pretty cool. Like, I mean look at her. She's nice. Uh, the, the princess design um still feels fuck. No, I'm missing it. That that was an accident. Uh let's pull it back up there. Uh, it does still feel a little bit weird uh, that it looks like a human head on a clearly robot body. When when she does when like her face doesn't have much much like cyborg properties at all, it does feel a little weird. But but I bet it's something I can get uh, used to or whatever. And also she's she's drinking a chug jug. <laughs> She's drinking a chug jug, or, 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 or what I've also heard, she's drinking lemon lime Gatorade. <laughs> very funny, very very funny. But, but no, I'll, I'll, but also I'm not gonna lie. Um, what I did like about uh, Xenoblade Blade Two was that the Robot Companion it was like very cus customizable. I did like that, so this does make me happy. Another reason why I might pick it up too. Uh, she got that monster energy diesel mode. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you know, like she's got a lot of stuff tied to her, and there's also challenge battles, which are like a reward other stuff as well. This is this is cool too. I was a fan of uh, new modes uh, being added, but this part here, this part. This really does have the fan service interest through the goddamn roof. I'll say that right now. Like, fuck. I ain't gonna lie. That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, so she's volume two. Okay, I got you. And, and and this is and this is available literally next month, so I might pick it up. Maybe I don't know. I I would definitely be lacking knowledge on it, but but maybe next time I go to um GameStop, I might do it. <laughs> maybe maybe. All the anime boob yeah exactly. And then you say SpongeBob game. I I'm, I mean, that genre is still like getting gobbled up by about everybody. So I mean like sure. I don't care about other SpongeBob games, but this is still pretty cool. Hey SpongeBob, by the way, <laughs> I guess I guess I saw that now. The meme, 
the meme right there. Then y'all, that's a uh, uh, pretty cool. Uh, then we have the goddamn biggest tease in the world. Hey there, Juggernaut. I'm just I'm just farming YouTube right now. Don't mind me while also streaming it because why not? <laughs> No, this this right fucking here i was honestly disappointed to see it as a uh, as this i was honestly disappointed because like wait a face of the north star game uh the face of the uh, looks fun shit don't get me wrong this is still pretty cool don't get me wrong but i was thinking like an actual like controller game not not a fitness boxing game. It was something so left field. It's interesting. It's so fucking interesting. That is true. You do get the boss with them. Do not get me wrong. This is still a really cool concept. Do not get me wrong. But it's so left field though. He, he can say Omawa no Shindailu. So can you. Because you can box with him. You can do it with him! Like... I, uh, I, I wanna see, uh, when he, uh, when he, uh, gets up to, uh, to, uh, to the part. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, oh yeah, and this, uh, this is just like a party, uh, a minigame thing. Honestly, it looks kind of fun. Uh, I, I kind of wish that this was free, though, because, like, because, like, I don't know who, who will spend money on this. I don't know. But, hey. Looks fun for the few that do care about it, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, then this. Um, I think I've seen this pop up a few times. That's uh, that, that's off brand uh, of Fall Guys stand man, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I do know that I do know that that this is like a Zelda ripoff, really. But but this is like being full blown advertised. So so pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Uh, does look cool as well, honestly. And then we have. Uh, Front Mission Remakes. I know nothing about the originals. And this is... Uh, and this is combat I'm personally not a fan of because it heavily reminds me of Fire Emblem. But hey, stuff getting remade and, uh, and, and like getting updated, that's still always a cool thing. That way someone is able to relive uh, their childhood. So that's fine. That's all fine and dandy. Uh, I'll just uh, move on a little bit. Uh, November, then 2023 for 1, then 2, respectively. It's a mid-tier to the Delta being an insult, um, as a middle ground. Yeah, pretty much. It's, it, it's, it's pretty much an indie taking, taking a known concept and just having their own very slight spit on it, but you can tell it's a copy pasta. Uh, what, uh, uh what are you thinking about? Are we getting a toothpaste fan as a lord in new Fire Emblem? Oh boy. I will say, I've seen Toothpaste, I've seen Joy-Cons, and I've seen Pepsi Man being, being the main describers of, of, um, of, um, of this, uh, new, uh, protagonist. I personally do not care about Fire Emblem, so, so I could honestly care less what happens. But I just find it funny, and the design is only okay for me. I just find the memes funny, that's about it. And, and and well and like it makes sense for and it makes sense be, because of the artist ha, has done a lot of stuff with with red and blue on on characters before like a lot. It's kind of stuff a good game, thus making it mid. It, it, it's like a heavy copy pasta, not not even like inspired. It's like an outright copy paste. So yes, I definitely do agree. I mainly say that maybe because like other other companies taking ideas and heavily inspiring it off of other games. Like, for example, Genshin heavily being inspired by Breath of the Wild. 
just as uh, just as uh, just as, uh, just, as, uh, just as, uh, as an example, this is obviously not a direct inspiration. This is well, it is it is looks like a hey, it's like hey, can I copy your homework? Yeah, sure. Just make sure it's not exact. You get that case right there. That's pretty much what Zelda is to that um, Fox Link person thing. That's pretty much what it is. Oh, wait, I missed this. I missed this. Okay, so there's a third one in the future. I actually did not know that. I missed that entirely the first time I watched it. Damn. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, yes. Then the first of many farming simulators. Breath of the Wild is such an innovation in the field of video games. A lot of games have made their open worlds uh, similar to it. Yes, exactly. It... Pretty much a Breath of the Wild put that shit on the map. It put it directly on the map. Because, because well, Breath of the Wild, it obviously wasn't the first. Uh, one thing I, I can think of as an example uh, that came before Breath of the Wild was, was, um, um, Horizons uh, Zero Dawn. It was incredibly similar to it. And, and it came out uh, before it, if I recall correctly, at least. I know, wait, wait. Let me make sure I'm not wrong. Let me make sure I'm not wrong. So, uh, 2017 and... Uh, not PC. Uh, let's look at the overall release date. I think it was barely before, actually. Hold up. I think it was barely, barely before. So we have February 28th. It was literally five days before Breath of the Wild. Wow, the more you know. Five days before. I actually never knew that. That's very interesting. Breath of the Wild uh, made that shit the map. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Breath of the Wild uh, became the goddamn blueprint. But yeah, so, but yeah, so back up to this uh, very quick. The first of many farming simulators. So honestly, I'm just I'm just gonna skip it a little bit because like because like uh, we've all seen what farming is like for for anyone who's who, who's watching this direct, you know, you know how many farming simulators are in here. Oh yes, then this. This is something I kind of wanted, wanted to talk about because I do on Splatoon 3. I don't know how much I want to get into it, but, but I don't know the impact of Splatfest. I do not know. So actually, I'm going to let that play as I talk. Uh, uh, there's like a four to five step. Yeah, exactly. Like four to five is fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, so uh, there's no homework or copying there. Uh, the development process for the games were completely isolated uh, from each other. Yeah, somehow, and they somehow turned out incredibly similar. It was it was probably a they still happen to have uh, the same ideas, but that was like incredible, absolutely incredible. I mean, like I might. Well, maybe I can set some. Maybe I can set some time aside. Maybe do a stream or two prepping for this. I could do that because I have no idea what a Splatfest is. Uh, I'll probably do some more research on, on that sooner or later. But the fact that, but but the fact that this was direct worthy, that's something. All right. That's definitely something. So, uh, oh yeah, that's right. And also, um, did they say it here? They're going to. Okay. So also several free updates as well. So very happy about that. I, I always like me uh, some free updates on games that feel completed. I like that. Because, because also like S Splatoon sold a ridiculous amount of... Uh, Three. Uh, 
fails. Because, like... Here we go. Abs absolutely absurd launch. They... They had 3.45 million sales within the first three days. Which is... Which is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. And someone DM'd me. Let's see, wasn't it? Not. I don't know, but that's what I got. This is still like absolutely astronomically incredible. Where's the DM? I know it's uh, it's an app, but but we're gonna add it. Uh, one second. Uh, I I, I want to make sure I'm not going crazy here. Oh, oh, here we go. Found it. Someone, someone was so, so someone's going live. It was it was color bruise. It's all good. But, um. Uh, paint squid squid game hit 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 different. I guess it it's still like absolutely. It, incredible that th that Splatoon can sell that much. It, it, it's apparently a very well-loved uh, franchise. I never knew it was that loved. I do know a Splatoon 2, 2 did solid, but but probably after the Octo expansion, that's probably when a lot of people started to to come in and Splatoon 3 is like day one buy, which is which is great. That's absolutely amazing for the game and and its series uh, longevity. So so yeah, glad I'm hopping on the Splatoon 3 train. That's for sure. I'm very very uh, glad for that. Oh yes. Uh, then I believe. Uh, I think a Tears of the Kingdom is gonna outperform even Splatoon 3. That. That is that. That's now quite the bar because wait, wait no, no no let me uh, let me let me pull this up real quick right because uh let's see if uh if uh the sales are on here here we go it. it uh, it does not say here. Okay, because um, because because according to the here, like like um, Animal Crossing, which I think was like at the next highest, was was like a a, a little over half of this, which is insanity. That is insane right there. They only need a a one for, a, a type of everyone up. It's insane. Yeah, yeah, like it's it's very very long awaited. It's very long awaited, so that it definitely does make me happy. It definitely does make me happy. I I was hoping they would they would either say something now or 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 later this year, according to the rumors that are now obviously debunked. But gross, I was definitely expecting information sometime this year, and and I'm glad it came now, and it looks uh, the way it does. I cannot wait. Your last trailer and direct, so it's gonna be huge lazy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's Nintendo made Nintendo made that a staple. It's like it's like you really save the heat for last, and it comes in May. Yeah, exactly. It's still May. That's still like over half a year away. They still have time to work on that, which is very good. And honestly, I I am glad they are still taking a lot of time in order to make this game. I'm still very happy about that. Because it's like, um, probably after I talk about the direct and the state of play, I'm just going to go over the backlog I want to go through before certain games come out. I'm probably going to do that, and it's like, listen, if it comes out in May, I'm fine, alright? I'm not going to starve on games all of a sudden. I'll be fine. <laughs> Oh yeah, also this, Autopath the Traveler 2. Um, I do own, I do own uh, the original, so I might try and beat it in preparation for this, but I don't know, because I did try Octopath for, for a little bit. The grinding just got to me a little bit. The amount of grinding, it just, it sucked a little bit. Not gonna lie, it just sucked. How, how, how we can be a Green Goblin in... Another game? Yeah, I bet. I bet. 
but yeah this is this is um this is uh pretty nice the more more characters more stories her i like a lot actually i actually do like her a lot so it's nice uh and and, and once again in the hd uh, 2d engine which square Enix fucking loves it's almost tiring to see in my opinion but whatever whatever that that might just be me because like every single major event one of these games gets announced and it's like up oh, there we go there it is it's ridiculous that's absolutely ridiculous oh yeah and also comes out, uh, february so that's five months uh give or take uh yes another farming simulator so uh, i'm gonna skip this one too because uh, because oh hey guess what it's farming with some rpg right there and i think co-op too i think that is co-op so that would be pretty fun a hunter cat girl is, is just a player in monster hunter <laughs> yeah <laughs> she is she is living monster hunter right now that's what she is she is she's playing a different game entirely <laughs> She's in, she's in her own realm. Fucking love it. Uh, it'll take eight months for Red Level 2 to drop and five for Octopath 2. Okay, okay. So, so eight months. Oh, wait, oh, this is my Phoenix Labs I, I just read. I know Phoenix Labs. Oh, yes, and this, uh, Final Fantasy uh, Rhythm game. I do not care for rhythms, but for those who do care, and... and and just if you like Final Fantasy, there you go. Love Child right there. I'll be moving on. Oh, yeah, and also, uh, they also. Wait, where did they say? They showed like a bunch of like, um, DLC stuff. I know that. Uh, I don't know where. I don't know where that's at, though. Uh, it must be further back. Uh, where's that? Uh, 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 the, uh, Dino Rampa devs. Job game 2, so that's cool. Oh, and Bayonetta 3. Yeah, yeah, all, yeah, all that stuff. Oh, oh, no, uh, here we go. Uh, this should show, uh, the DLC stuff. Uh, where are you gonna be? Here we go. So, so, so premium, um, um, digital deluxe is 502 songs a uh, digital deluxe is 442 that's still a lot of songs uh, to play through band 3 looks really good i actually don't see uh i don't i don't see uh the gameplay trail yet i just forgot to look at it but but based off of uh what i've seen i'm just happy a bayonetta is actually getting i don't know if revived is the right word but i'm just happy that they're actually doing something with it i'm very happy about that very happy i do own one and two but i try one uh, for a little bit i just i don't know i i couldn't wrap my brain around it so maybe i should try again still not entirely sure about that and we're we'll like a mario and rabbids sure it's a game it's cool that, that's about all i can say i don't have much uh, to really talk about that uh, yeah, the game trailer has really good graphics and it's really fluid. I'll I'll probably uh, play that for uh, for uh, a little bit as well, honestly. Oh yeah, this 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 comes out in five weeks. This is close. I forgot how close that was. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and weapon skins for pre-order. That's always cool, I guess. But it's a single-player game, so who cares? Who gives a crap? Oh. Oh, would you look at that? Number three. That's a sus pause I did there. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Farming Simulator number three. Was <laughs> of where you could also turn into a animal? Like, not sure. And Mary. Oh yeah, that's right. This I, I, this is Ru Ruin Factory 3. I think one of the farming OGs, so... Regardless, it's still another farming simulator. Regardless. What I said still matters. 
Uh, and this is what series in development or something? New series in development. I don't know what this quite means. I I I don't know what this means. It does this mean five or six or or or, or like or, or like an off story of this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this means. I mean, like, sure, but that's something I don't... I probably won't care about, personally. I saw the teaser for the new Army Fighter game, and I saw uh, that Tales of Symphonia is getting a reboot. Yes, uh, I think that is a shown in here as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I, Oh, yeah, N64. This is, this is a big topic. This is this is gonna be a bit this is gonna be a big one. So so first of all, several Mario parties. It's one, two, and three getting added. So that is And also Pokemon Stadium one and two. That's big. But however, if I recall correctly, uh, the stadiums they don't have features right now. They don't have several of of the I don't know, good features is the right word, but but it's not the same as it was on the 64. Because it says right here, Pokemon cannot be transferred to these games. It says that right down there. So so immediately that says you must use rental teams, and I've heard that that's not fun. That is one of the best parts of the Direct. Yeah, exactly. Like, honestly, a bunch of good stuff was in here. A bunch of good stuff was in the answer what was in this N64 section. Uh, a Snow War game, sure. And... Oh, uh, oh yes, and Excite Bike. So, so most of the Mario parties will be in 2022, so pretty close. The last Mario party will be in 2023, followed by both of the stadiums. Very, very excited about that. Pikmin 4 was a big difference. Yes, Pikmin 4 was an absolute... W. Very, I, I'm honestly happy for them as well. Very happy for them. Well, that's fair. Since Switch uh, is using a little emulator uh, made by uh, Nintendo on the Switch. Yeah, but it's like, what's all the point of even doing that? Like, seriously. L like, it won't be the same. It just won't be. So it's like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But, whatever. I'll just let that go by. And there's also one more N64 game that, uh, that someone I knew was really hyped for. It was this one. It was GoldenEye. That was probably it. And it's also with the online play too, so that could be fun with some people. And this is this is a rapid fire section, if I recall correctly. Uh, I forget what this is. Oh yes, oh yes, another Square Enix title. Uh, I don't know this game personally, but 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 this all seems familiar. This seems familiar. I don't remember. I don't think this was Little Noah style. Th this might be Little Noah style. I don't remember exactly. I'll, I'll need to relook at it, but but hey, uh, this is available now. But so that's a uh, pretty cool. There's a lot of RPG games that featured in this direct of uh, a surprise monster hunter I wasn't shown. Um, probably because um the second one was done recently. That was probably it. Uh, the second free update was done recently so so still more time will need to pass before we get down to the third one well yeah but 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 well that excuse is, is that um it's rise and it's like primarily on the switch that's why so so I'll, so I'll, it would obviously be a big thing to to show something like that at, at a direct But, but I digress. Uh, we did pass by uh, uh, one game, some sort of like um, farming rocket thing. I don't know. This is a horror game. Whatever. I don't care about either of these, really. 
Oh yeah, this as well. Um, how well is this game s still going along? I actually don't know. I actually didn't realize that they added two characters with this free update. I actually never realized that. Never realized that. It is dead. Okay, I figured. I figured it was dead. I just thought I would make sure before I talked out of my ass. I'll play that too. Because uh, Rise is part of, uh, of the Portal series and made by the Portal dev team. And the world was made by the main dev team. Oh, really? So that's how that was. Different other other type of updates. I mean, like... I mean, well, they did just show... They literally just showed a a title update, to be fair. They just showed one. And, and honestly, it would be kind of dumb not to for Monster Hunter. But it's like, uh, uh, they're probably... Uh, it's probably not close enough to, to even do that yet. That's probably it. So, so that or Capcom is saving it for something. That could happen, too. Who knows? Uh, the next update was late September. Oh. We're in mid-September. Huh. Regular. I didn't know the update was that soon. Fuck! I still- I- I- I'm all- I- I almost have my MR uncapped. Fuck! I should probably do that. Fuck. Uh, Capcom also does other title updates of themselves. That- that I do know. I do know they do do that. Uh, I'm just making sure I'm timed here. <laughs> I'm just double checking. All right. Then there's uh, this game. So so now so now this series has a third entry. Rise of Three. I don't know how good this game is. I I just know. I just know the clickbait surrounding this game. Yeah yeah. I gotta kill you in. In Sunbreak, bro. I also also someone recently asked me, uh, what is my when will I play Sunbreak uh, next? So I'm probably going to do that uh, sooner or later. It's Genshin, but Nintendo. Why is it better than Genshin? That's the big question. Here. Is it better than Genshin? And then I do also know that with these storylines, it doesn't involve like big bads, gods, or whatnot. It's just a very casual type of a uh, playthrough. So that could be interesting. Also, lots of crafting, I think, too. Lots of crafting. That's not up to me. Those words scare me. <laughs> not gonna lie, those words scare me. I'm equal. Just if I'm, I, I'm equal. I'm equal. Just if they ever come out, come out with a trilogy pack, honestly, it's a maybe, but probably not. I keep your wife who's a booba as cover as possible. That's fine by me. I don't care about that. It's just that is the game good. <laughs> I'm equal. I'm equal. Cool. I'm cool. You say about the booba, but the thigh game is on another level for them. It's on another level. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And also a uh, wave three. I forgot about this. I don't even know if I have the booster course pass. I just don't care about, about Mario Kart much anymore. Unless it was, unless it's a, uh, with friends. And I make a tour track. Sure. But this track, this track, I remember. This this was when I was a kid. So this so this has me in happy memories. Very happy uh, memories. And when is Wave Three coming out again? Uh, show me. Holiday. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Iron Man of Culture. I like other features in period. Oh, that feature is one of the most good tracks. Yeah, exactly. It's so goaded. So goaded. 
Uh, where is DL on Switch? Oh boy, this is... <laughs> loaded. To be fair, I would not want Nintendo to have the IP. I, I just would not. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, golf in, in Switch Sports. Don't get me wrong, I loved golf, but Switch Sports is just mid. It really is mid. Yes, yes. Um, this is uh, uh, this is now holiday, which will honestly, whatever. At least it's coming. At least it wasn't canceled. Oh, the misery. Everyone wants to be my hand to me. <laughs> yeah, uh, he does a quickly talk about that. Oh yes, and uh, Shigeru. So I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna pause this real quick because he says something. So next spring Mario movie. Next spring will be the Mario movie. I still don't know how to feel about that, especially because we've seen nothing. Uh, it comes to Pikmin Four, but not Breath of the Wild Two. Shocking, actually. Well, to be fair, um, Pikmin. It was. It was like a. If I'm correct, it wasn't Pikmin like a long dead franchise to us where it's been such a long time in between games. If I'm correct, it was between three and four, right? Or, or it's like seven years. If I'm correct in saying that. Oh, does it talk about anything else? And Super Nintendo World, which is entering its second year at U Oh yeah, so then uh yes, then uh then uh then um Super and uh, Nintendo World, uh whatever. Uh, whenever that happens. Oh, that happens. I believe it. It was longer than seven years. Oh God. So yeah, but then, then he also talks about Pikmin Bloom for a little bit, which is like, why would you talk about a uh, Pikmin Bloom? Like this is, this is just a mobile game. That's literally it. It's not like anything new. He's literally just showing it off. That's, that's it. Like. Then there's this, uh, the Pikmin 4 teaser, which I know everyone's incredibly happy about. I know that, and honestly, very good for them. Very good, but but, but I don't think Pikmin's uh, my franchise. I don't think so. But Relative is one of the biggest vegan times of recent uh, history. They know the sales are bad. Oh, really? Eww. Lovely. Oh, yeah, and it's also 2023, so pretty cool. I'm going to go wrong. Breath of the Wild 2 is, but also it's like they can also just do that at the end, which they did, and and still have that hype factor. Yeah, the chase looks very nice. Though. The graphics are pretty. Yeah, yeah, it does look nice. The P is for Pikmin. Now we move back into into more games. Another Just Dance, Just Dance 2023. I will, I will, I will always enjoy uh, the Just Dance games be, because the, I will say these are good at, at conventions. I've seen these at conventions. It is fun uh, to watch people, and also, hey, it's it's cool. Uh, 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 which nobody cares about. I, I will also say, um, for those. Uh, for those people who actually need to do like exercise games like this, this is very, very good for them. So always a fan of this. The relative pushback what got really say and the name. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I I would have been honestly I would have been fine it it I would have been fine if they did say Breath of the Wild 2 is, is getting another another delay. Because like at least say at least be uh, transparent. That's all I ask of some people. Or, or, or it's like, listen, just just tell us it's not in development hell. That's all we ask. And farming simulator number four. Number four by Square Enix. Number four. 
And this one was already shown before, if I recall correctly. So this is... Oh yeah, this is demo. Uh, I will not play that. Oh yes, then Bayonetta 3. I I'm honestly very happy we got more stuff on this. I'm actually very happy we got to see more of... Of... Uh, uh, of uh, Bayonetta 3. Very, very happy. Uh, th they did have a they did have a, uh, a separate trailer, to us, which I might actually segue into that very shortly. Actually, I do that. I actually have not seen it. I've not seen it. I'll probably watch it for uh, for the first time on here though. He was like, "Hey, why not?" But uh, this is like mostly uh, cinematics. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, more characters and returning characters. Luca reminds me of Dante. I kid you not. Uh, Jean, I think, is returning, and a new character, Viola, golf chick. I I, I think he was uh, returning too. I think, and a demon. That's uh, very cool, and actually, um, I'm going to segue this, uh, give me a quick minute, into said gameplay trailer. So, let's, uh, it's seven minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, so let's, uh, let's uh, take a look then, shall we? Still does the, um, very, very spinny, flashy, uh, movements I see. <laughs> oh, whoa. Damn, way to go. I am the storm that is approaching. Uh, one of the names uh, uh, looks like um, uh, uh, Glavius, which is really funny. Gotcha. She's got butterfly wings. It's probably me being very behind on the lore, but yeah. So those are the uh, funkuli. So... And she also still does her fists. Lots of kicking still, so that hasn't changed. Oh, well, oh, one of those kicks. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, this, so, yeah, this just feels like a Bayonetta game, which is good. They were at least able to keep... All the same stuff uh, uh, Platinum Games did. It's very good. I never played the game, uh, uh, but I'm familiar uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the franchise. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much because it's basically a in a nutshell. Yeah. In Smash? Well, guess who hasn't played Smash, really? <laughs> guess who hasn't played Smash? Which time? Oh, up the ass, damn. Damn, damn, look at her go. Oh, yeah, that's right, uh, demons and stuff, right? Uh, when do I get to that point? Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh dear Christ, she can outright summon games. She's gonna have a a, a, lo a low skill floor, but a really high ceiling. Oh, I bet. Wait. Oh. Oh, also, for this, they did the uncensored version. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Yeah, you have to do the uncensored. Okay. All right. Sure. <laughs> I, I, I'm wrathing because, yeah, this is going to be monetized. Lovely. Hopefully they don't. The Mayo Geeks. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
So yeah, uh, that's uncensored. Okay. Well. Oh, doing combo fingers. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Uh, I can actually change those them according to the team shows. Oh, interesting. Oh. More like a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit of a uh, attacks. Ah. Oh, Jesus Christ. That thing breathes fire. What the fuck? Huh? Whoa! What the fuck? First time seeing that. I I'm assuming lore, obviously, but that's my first time seeing that of her at all. That's cool. Demon Masquerade. Jesus Christ. God damn! First time seeing that form, she can transform into a demon, uh, which is, uh, is what uh, she can do based on her weapons. Got you. And she also has healies. Oh, and she can also be a spider now. Okay. Okay, I got you. I got you. I'm following. Oh, and and fire breathing shit. Ah, I follow. Ah, oh, pretty cool actually. Oh no, I, I see them down here. So it's on those three, okay. And then the gun hammer. <laughs> Give me that weapon, Monster Hunter. Uh, 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 uh the gun hammer. Damn, damn. So that's a lot of. Uh, that's a lot of stuff to take in right there. That's a lot of stuff. But definitely does seem like fun chaining all that stuff. It definitely does. So that's pretty cool. In and out of combat. Playing as. You can. There's another playable character? You can play as Viola? Oh, she got that weeb shit. She got. She, she got a katana. She got the katana and kunai. Oh, they can play as Virgil? Yeah, I guess. But she will never be Virgil. Oh, oh, that's a demon. Oh, well, like a, a Ryan from Elgar Rising? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, that's another game on the backlog I gotta do. <laughs> that's definitely another game on my list. The hell? A rocket? Okay. <laughs> Play your way. Okay. Ah. Yes, or is it, is it the cat? It, uh, she can just punch it. Gotcha. Wait, is that? Oh, okay. So, so you know, uh, they made this very low skill ceiling. I see. You definitely have the option to do very, very low stuff and just spam away. Which is honestly fine for, for those who just want to enjoy the story and not so much uh, the combat. Uh, that's fine. Train scene. And she also has the rocket. G good to know. And so, uh, uh, Patricia High Skill Center. Yeah, exactly. Gigatons. <laughs> Lil. Well, yes, very, very low. And 
And that wraps up uh, Bayonetta, at least. So yeah, a Bayonetta 3 honestly looks very promising. Still pretty true to... Uh, to what the other uh, bay Bayonetta's had in store. I love the variety of the transformations. Yeah, so those transformations look cool, too. They look really cool. Ah, oh, yes, uh, then the, uh, then the, um, um, Diagonal Rampa-esque game. Which, personally, I don't care about, but still, but still, for those who do enjoy the series, here you go. Some food for ya. And Bayo's ass, uh, uh, but that's uh, besides uh, the, uh, the point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this... Oh, yeah, Rain Code. That's what it is. Rain Code. Rain Code's interesting. Definitely got those sussy vibes, but... Uh, the account for this game uh, looks interesting. Uh, I don't know. Was it this game? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, same devs. Um, not the creator, right? I I don't think it was uh, the same creator. So that's. Oh yeah, this. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, there is combat in uh in uh, this game. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, more waifus. Like, like can never have enough waifus in a game. And the horror of this. The horror of this, all right? Like, don't even need to watch this. Just read. Like, like I'm just gonna skip this because because they murdered these games on launch. They murdered these games. Cloud, cloud stuff is absolutely dog shit. So yeah, this is terrible. This is terrible already, and they put. Multiple Resident Evils on there. So yeah, that is not fun at all. That's absolutely not fun. Oh yes, uh, then uh, Sifu. Uh, this came out recently, didn't it? So that's fine. Uh, Capcom is milking the Resident Evil series? Yeah, they are. Like, absolutely. And just doing it in the laziest way possible. To where no one's happy about it. Oh yes, then there's this reunion. This is coming to Switch. Call me very surprised. I did not expect this to come to Switch. I truly did not. But this is very welcome for Switchies. Incredibly welcomed. Uh, uh, uh is just a really good game. It is a good game. Really? Okay. And there's a Radiant um, Silver Gun, sure. Uh, this is an older game, so I don't, I don't know how much people really care about this. But it looks better than I thought, and, and it came straight from PSP. Yes, yes, um, yes, um. If I recall correctly, it was it was a PSP game, which is, which is why it it had like such trouble. Um. I'm coming, uh, coming. Uh, it's like um, other PlayStation consoles. So, so the fact that uh, they're actually able to to do it, to to like line up roughly of where of where all these like uh, remake games are going, that's still very very good. That's still very good. Massive fan of that. Massive massive fan of that. Oh yeah, and then there's also Endless Dungeon, which is cool. Cool, uh, uh, of those who do like it to do that, but sure, whatever. Uh, oh yeah, this was uh, the Tales remake, if I'm correct. Yes, yes, this was Tales of Symphonia Remastered, that's it. It's a remaster, not a remake. I do know, I do know why the Tales series is very beloved, but, but I, I can only dedicate myself to, to one of these Final Fantasy esque genres. I can only, I can only do one. I can only do one, and I still need to do those. I haven't dedicated myself hardly to one yet, but it might be Final Fantasy. I do. Yeah, remaster or which is straight from the GameCube. Really? This is a GameCube game. Damn. Still really nice. Still really good on them. Really good on them. 
for being able to do that. Oh, me, I'm just drinking a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then there's some um, rapid fire stuff. In this rapid fire, on the Japanese, they actually did show Sonic Frontiers. Not anything new, except, except for that um, Sonic's eyebrows are very expressive. But beyond that, I think that's like a, the only difference. Uh, there's a uh, a uh, a Life is Strange for for whoever enjoys that series, sure. Um, another another um, um RPG, another uh, a JRPG. Even though we have a lot, uh, Lego Brick Tales, which is I guess a Lego RPG. I mean, okay, uh, Lego is always enjoyable. I will say that. Um, Speed Storm Disney. Honestly, it looks cool, but I won't care about it. Maybe. Depends on what else. Then Fall Guys Season 2, that's arriving. Um, even, e even though, even though it's Fall Guys, which is fine. It's fine. Oh yes, oh yes, this is something I also wanted to, wanted to talk about. So Kirby, Return to Dreamland. If I'm correct, this was a very beloved game, right? I believe I believe this was a very, very loved game by about everybody. It is, okay. Okay, because I might pick this up. I, I might pick this up and the other Kirby game. I might do that. Especially because this one actually does have a multiplayer. That can be a lot of fun with some people. That can be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, and there's a uh, new and cute uh, mini games. Yeah, yeah, like, a, yeah, like, a, just look at them. Just, just, I just want everyone playing it. It's a nice way to get into the Kirby franchise. I will, I will definitely try. I will definitely try. He's like, uh, who can get wrong with Kirby? You cannot hate the Kerbo. You you just can't. Yeah, like, uh, this, this game, pretty good. Pretty good, I... Oh, it's February. Lovely. Gotta add that to the list. <laughs> I would say if it's worth the six dollars, uh, probably not personally. I had played the original, so there's a couple add-ons and stuff. Uh, but you know how Nintendo is. Yeah, but the paper fan game it looks be fun. Yes, yes it does. I'm, I'm go also for me because I never played it. It, it, it would be like me buying a full, full price game anyway from the very start. So that's whatever, and 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 also it's not like you can put it on this. It's, it's not like a, you can, like, hack it on the Switch or something like that. So, so that's fine. I'm fine with that, but just put it on sale eventually. That's all I ask. Then Zelda. Then God... God damn Zelda. At this point, I knew it was Zelda. At this point, I knew it was Zelda. But here... Well, roughly around here, I was like, wait, is this, is this like Twilight Princess? Because, because it wasn't, it, it wasn't this image. It was this image. And, and I asked, wait, is that the Twilight Princess? I actually do not uh, remember. But, but no, it is Breath of the... That's it, Majora. I, I, I was thinking Majora as well. And it's like, wait a minute, Majora stuff? But no, this... This looks fucking amazing, all right? Same engine, obviously, which is perfectly fine. The graphics were still spectacular, even though it's a 2017 game that also ran on the Wii U. And just, what's there not to love about this? So, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This fucking game. This fucking game. I cannot wait to dive into this. But however, with this game now having a hard release date, I now have a time where I need to beat Breath of the Wild. I have not beaten Breath of the Wild. 
Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's on my to-do list now. It's officially on my to-do list. Uh, you, know, you can never tell how the stuff at the beginning uh, was... Was, um... Uh, uh, was, was my stuff? It says, yes, I am fucking serious. I am so fucking serious. I never beat Breath of the Wild yet. I am so fucking serious. I just haven't done it yet. Like. Uh, it, it's, I know it's so good. I know it is, but I just haven't. I know. You are probably enacting the comment section right now. That's probably what you're doing. <laughs> you are, you are, you are a disgrace as a, as a Zelda fan. Like, listen, Z Brother of the Wall is pretty much what got me into Zelda, all right? Pretty much, well, well like, I, like, I only touched up on a few of them over the years. I never, wait, all right, th th this is what's sad for you right now. This is what's fucking sad. I I'm going to get hate for this. I'm going to get hate, but I never actually beat any Zelda game. I never actually beat one. The closest I have gotten was in Twilight Princess. That one I played a lot, but I felt the Wii U start to age. Using that gamepad was fucking atrocious. I just stopped Twilight Princess. I still have the amiibo somewhere. I want it to be Twilight Princess so bad, knowing that the wolf amiibo could be used on Breath of the Wild and have additional hearts. I wanted to do that so bad. But I couldn't. I cannot do it. Uh, I've always loved a Zelda series, Breath of the Wild, and maybe want to go deeper, and now I love Zelda even more. Yeah, exactly. I guess all the games I played... It was Phantom of Grass and Spear Track for DS and Breath of the Wild. So wait though, um, uh, the games I actually tried, um, Triforce Heroes. Um, um, I do, I do actually own Skyward Sword. I own that now. Um, there was, there was one other I tried uh, besides the Twilight Princess. I think, I think there was one other I tried. I don't remember, and honestly, Breath of the Wild. And yes, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time are, are on the N64 are, are function. So that could be something in the future as well. But but me in the back of my brain, it's like, I, I know it's going to feel weird. I just know it is. But yes, that is also an option. Uh, uh, I have the one on uh, the 3DS. That is, that is Triforce. That is Triforce. I remember that one. Because, because, well, because, well, with, like, the, um, um, DS, um, um, function, um, the, um, uh, DS Connect Play, I guess it's called, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't, I remember, um, m me and my brothers, we would all play it, uh, together, we'd all just play it together, so that was a lot of fun. That was it. Hyrule Warriors. That, that was that other game. I played it. I played it for like two stages, I think, and it's like, and eh, not for me. Well, no, two hours. I played for two hours. That was it. Oh, that's right. I also have that other, that other warriors esque Breath of the Wild one. I have that one. I forgot what it's called. I'm searching through my drawer. I forgot what it's called. Fuck. I have a brother of the man. Yes, I do actually. I have a younger one. Who now works at my job. <laughs> but yes, but yes, I have a third brother. Uh, I, I know he's spoken like a few times on on stream, but that was like way long ago. He's in his own world now. He plays D&D. &D. <laughs> like avidly. He's a nerd. So I guess the apple don't fall too far from the tree. <laughs> we, we raised him right. <laughs> But yeah, just that's like he like me then. Oh jeez. <laughs> but yeah, like I I'm still so fucking excited f for this game. I am so so excited for this. 
But that's enough of uh, of the direct. Every day of the uh, 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 about my current game is on hiatus. Ah, I got you. I got you. I don't want to do that. I want to switch over to this. As, as far as I didn't mention about the Mar movie, um, Lilia, uh, Lilia, they just mentioned spring. That, that's all I said. Spring of next year. It wasn't. It wasn't a show. It was a tell. I did unmute just so that people could hear it. I did do that. And let's uh, and let's just uh, move on to the actual starting point. And Bryce, I just has subtitles built in, so yeah. Uh, probably did miss it. It it it, it was literally two set. It was literally two sentences. It was literally just drop that, move on. So that's whatever. Uh oh yes, Tekken. This is Tekken. I forgot about that. So so Tekken looks really cool, don't get me wrong. This game does look nice, but fighting games really aren't too much of my thing. This does look gorgeous though. Like look at that. This looks gorgeous. And God of War Ragnarok, yes, that was To Akazuya said, what the fuck? Yeah, like... They can do what they want. It's mirror matching. It's a mirror match. That's what this is. <laughs> These are fighting game pros right here. Why do his nips uh, look like that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not believe if I'm going to be in a... Like a 10-year-old uh, there. So I, th that's me in Fortnite as well. That's what... That that's like my Fortnite uh, mentality, where it's like I'm I'm not gonna get beat by by someone who just came out of the goddamn womb, like seriously. Go do your homework. <laughs> I like Fortnite and I never will. Yeah, same. I will never like Fortnite. I tried it for like, I tried it for like a few hours on Switch, and it's like, no. No, this is not for me. Never like shooters. I tend to stay away from shooters, but... Especially what they did to Naruto and Dragon Ball. Yeah, the best part was, honestly, Beerus was still pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie, Beerus was probably the best model. Not gonna lie. You know, I think because the anime got popular. Not... Not even that, but but like I obviously like both of them. They're, they're very loving franchises. They're loved by a lot of people. So so, so it's like, oh hey, let's get some of those people in into in, into into the game. But by, by like some of the oldest and most beloved of of like all time almost. Purple cat, purple cat god it is funny. Well, I'm getting sidetracked with Fortnite. None of this shows Fortnite, thank God. <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked by fucking Fortnite. <laughs> Gun. Uh, uh, it's uh, everyone uh, uh, using guns. Um, I mean, well, VR stuff, I don't care about. I do know VR can be weird with some people. But I mean, um, Star Wars, Hondo's there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and like, beyond that, it's just cool, I guess. Nothing much else to really say. This this is like a dungeon game almost. So this is pretty cool. This this could definitely have some fun immersion uh, type of effects. That would be really fun. This low-key would be fun with like a bunch of people. I'm not going to lie. This would be fun. Yeah, I can look at all that. This is a cool. But, uh, that's... Oh, whatever. Uh, this is gonna be a slice fire right amidst with D&D &D mixed with Fire Emblem. Yeah! We're kind of. I can definitely see where you're coming from. Demio. Still, nice. Nice stuff there. Nice stuff. Uh, oh yes, and this. Uh, this was... Not gonna lie... 
when I first saw... When I first saw, um, quickly change to, to change up character, when I saw this guy, I said, wait, so this is a Samurai Yakuza. Even though, even though actually, uh, this is like what, uh, the, the prequel series to it or, or something. So I was like, okay, cool. Sure. Sure. I, I, I do, I do know a lot of people enjoy the Yakuza series. So, so, so having uh, this exist uh, for those fans, it will be very nice. I'm going to guess it's called, uh, uh, uh Nobunaga. Uh, um, I think it's called Ishin or something. Uh, let me actually, uh, uh, get to it. Oh, yes. Um, yes, uh, Like a Dragon, um, Ishin. And it drops in February. So, yeah, pretty cool. But no, Nobunaga still would... Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, he, he's a, he's a samurai. He, he he's a fucking flintlock. <laughs> he's a samurai. It's, it's like that goddamn meme where... Where it's like that guy and the sword, then he's pulled out a gun. There is nothing scarier uh, 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 than a samurai with a gun. Yeah, exactly. Nothing is nothing. Nothing scarier. Parried his casual. Well, what's funny is that he parried the gun, too. In the goddamn chill, he parried a gun. Uh, where'd that at? God damn it. I went, I went to the start. I, I somehow made it right back. Somehow. He parried a gun. Where that at? Yeah, see? He parried that gun. He parried it. <laughs> see, I like... See, I like, um... What? So, so like, uh, I wouldn't say parry this you fucking casual to a gun. Probably happened. I'm like, everyone's got guns, I realize. Everyone's got guns. Damn. Damn, this ain't no Samurai Times. Everyone's strapped on them. Everyone's fucking strapped in that era. Damn. Oh, yes, yes. This was this was the Hogwarts game. I will say, this plotline, it wasn't what I was expecting. It absolutely wasn't. I was like, low-key, this does have me interested but at the end of it, it's Harry Potter. Like, like th there's nothing really much to to talk about with with a Harry Potter game. I wish the creator. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the creator is definitely something to. To process. Apparently she came out with a book about quote unquote her experiences with the internet. I say that very loosely because that's pretty much what it was. Even though it wasn't said. But it's but but everyone trashed that book. I, I know that much. Everyone trashed that book. Uh, what else was shown? Oh, this. Uh, I have no idea what to make of this title. I have no idea. I generally hope uh, this game has no input from the creator. Um, because it's in Hogwarts, I it's it's they're taken from the universe. So I think that's enough for a lot of people. That's all I think, at least. Uh, a lot of people say Hogwarts. Nope, it's money's still probably gonna go to her anyway. So that's probably it. But I don't know what this game properly is. Like, like I don't think they showed enough about this game. I have no idea what this game is. Just outrunning nature, I guess? Yeah, yeah. I was all kind of giving to the turf a bunch of copyright. Yeah, exactly. And, and once again, all the money, so yeah. It definitely does seem more like a teaser, but it's definitely not enough. It's definitely not. It's definitely not enough. Like, well, like, well, what's this? Uh, back, back to the future went to the wrong place and and, and is trying to get back or some shit. I don't know, because that's one souped up car. 
That's for sure. Wait, no. This game is back to the future bad ending. That's what this is. <laughs> uh, and... Oh, yeah, PlayStation Stars. Um... Oh, wait, that's right. Uh, they actually had a blog post. Uh, yeah, blog post. That's right. Uh, they did have something uh, on this. Yes, there is. It's it's really at the very, very tail end. It was it it was literally the breath of the wild of this. It was at the very, very end. You know, um, stars. I don't know what's exactly here. Uh, this includes everything uh, from our consoles uh, to digital and PC play. It's it's really just this little thing uh, right here. Uh, or lo loyalty points. Points can be redeemed in the cataloging of uh, that may include PSN wallet funds and select PlayStation Store products. Design benefit is enrolled automatically during points uh, when you purchase. Let's say it got achievement. Yeah, it did. It did. <laughs> it absolutely got Tears of the Kingdom treatment. We're revealing into called digital collectibles. Collectibles are diverse as our portfolio of products and franchises. Uh, they're digital representations of things that PlayStation fans enjoy, including figurines of beloved and iconic characters from games and other forms of entertainment, as well as sh cherish uh, devices uh, that tap into Sony's history of innovation. There's also new collectible to earn, an ultra rare unlock to strive for, and Sony's rather than just for fun. It's definitely hype enough, especially for a PlayStation exclusive. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm so excited for Riding Rock. As a matter of fact, yeah. So yeah, it's right there. It's right over there. Um, I saw one thing here. Are those NFTs? Because you know, this is this is this is definitely something that kind of um caught my interest at. At like the like um little things the uh, the collectibles it's like is is this the NFT thing? Because I I actually don't know, I actually do not know. But I could be very wrong. Uh, let's actually uh, look into it. Oh, here are the first not an NFT digital collectible for PlayStation Stars. Oh dear God. Wait, uh, uh, so so much just for like PlayStation. No mention of NFTs. What the fuck? Okay, okay. Let's let's dive into this rabbit hole really quick. I'm sorry if I flashbanged you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, Sony is throwing some uh, collectibles. The items, which Sony insists are not NFTs, are based on a blockchain. Are are basically little virtual statues of devices like play, like the PS3 and the pocket the pocket station PDA slash handheld gaming device, as well as characters. Uh, I think I'm not correct though. Apparently, uh, when Sony announced the PlayStation starts from early this summer, it said that members will be able to earn points alongside digital collectors. It's not entirely clear what the points will do yet, but the company has hinted you may be able to buy some PlayStation Store products or even wallet funds that uh, can be put toward the game of purchase. To get points and collectibles, PlayStation Stores will, will have you participate in campaigns, which will involve things like participating in tournaments or even playing a game once a month. Another campaign mentioned on the PlayStation site mentions earning one of or earning one by being the first to snag a particular platinum trophy in in your time zone. I do remember that. I do remember that a while ago. According to a blog post from Tuesday, one of the first campaigns will be called Hit Play slash 1944, which will involve games which involve launching games that match song-based clues. And that's what also, also he said, and I, get, I assume it's that, I guess. So some programs that will launch in, in Asia. All right, so I guess not. If they're, if they're being insisted on it, I guess not. Uh, let's see what else. Um, well, wow, while wow, these guys do not have a lot to say at all about this stuff. Uh, apparent way to earn the collectibles is through... Uh, well, task user was on specific games based on music cues. So, I'm of these songs. Oh, no. uh, okay, so, uh, 
It does not state if these digital collectibles are NFTs or not. Uh, about this stage, they appear to be simple uh, collectibles. Okay, good. Good. It's staying at collectibles. It looks like it's just collectibles. I had to make sure about that because seeing that as like the first headline, that definitely did draw some concerns. It absolutely did. So, so just, so just had to double check for about anybody. Just had to double check. So yeah, like uh, just earning collectibles really, and and can earn some other stuff, and, and it's also free for everybody too. So that's a good thing. It's free. So why not? I guess. Unless if, unless if, well, this is the part of their scheme for the NFTs. Hmm. Oh, yes, and this is now. Oh yeah, this game. Um, I will say this game actually does look interesting. Like, like I definitely got the I got the, like co-op raid vibe with. Will it the open world stuff? And it is multiplayer too. This is multiplayer too. So honestly, this might be tempting to do. This is a little bit tempting. Because I mean, like, who doesn't like piloting big mechs? Like, who doesn't? <laughs> They're like, a look at this. And there's melee. <laughs> Just realized that there's melee. Uh, yeah. See, yeah, there's a. Uh, I, I was pulling. I was pulling a, 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 a with my finger instead. Yeah. See, yeah, there's uh, there's a multiple mechs, so I think it is a uh, multiplayer. Yeah. 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 Only a multiplayer. So no. Um, sin duality honestly does look kind of fun, actually. Yeah, a pretty cool ants in 2023. Nice. Oh yeah, and uh and um there's only a few more games here uh to really uh to talk about. Uh, I forget what this is. Oh, oh that's right. This is this is um Project Eve. That's what this is. This is all just like more uh story related things. But honestly, um, Project Eve, it does look, it does look nice. And which, which uh, this also now has a proper title. It's now called Stellar Blade. Definitely interesting. Uh, I'm only, I'm only on, I'm only okay on the pure, uh, waifu bait, personally. And, 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 and well, the combat as well does look very nice. Yeah, like uh, right here, this stuff does look cool, and also like finishes, I guess, too, mixing there. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Uh, they do have uh, going on right here. Okay, uh, just if just if this does turn out to be good, sure. Good, good for those people, but I probably won't add this in my catalog personally, because I mean like. When I go over about everything, yeah, I'm, yeah, it's about to be a lot I'm going to unload. <laughs> and, and a lot I still need to go through. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to choose my games carefully. We'll definitely need to do that. But, yeah, combat does look cool. It definitely does. There's Project Eve into now Stellar Blade. And it's what time frame again? PS5 exclusives as well, which is fine, whatever. 2023. And this one is... Oh, yeah, so this was a big game too, if I recall correctly. If I remember, uh, this was a big game. Not quite sure, though. Oh, well, let us see. I forget. Uh, let's see what pops up here. Oh, yeah, so... I saw uh, some gameplay stuff here. Uh, this looks cool. Don't get me wrong. Th them in the samurai era. 
Oh god. He's he's got a musket. <laughs> Oh, yes, and, and, and the title. Oh, yeah, that's right. Rise of the Ronin. Completely forgot about this game. Completely forgot about it. Snap neck. Damn. I think I, I think I might have um, walked away at this point. But 2024 PS5 exclusive. So, yeah, still a whole other year. Still a whole entire year. So, that's fine. And then... Then we have the last bit right here. We got Ragnarok. Now, now the, I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna play a, a, the trailer because I'm just gonna start out. Watch this for yourselves. Watch this entire thing for yourselves. First of all, Fenrir. I love Fenrir. Absolutely love him. But don't worry. This is not just a controller announcement. I was so worried this was just a controller announcement, where it's like you spent all this time just for a goddamn controller announcement. Thankfully, this is. Thankfully, that was that. But now, uh, the actual trailer is amazing. I'm not going to like it or anything. Just watch this for yourself. You better watch this goddamn trailer. Alright? <laughs> and you better know what this trailer is. This is quite the game. This is going to be quite the goddamn game. But however, uh, there are some things I do want to point out about this trailer, though. So, so is So, I don't remember... I th that might have been a dark elf, if I recall correctly. Dad of boy, yep. Dad of boy. Uh, there was, there was definitely at least two things I did want to um talk about here. There was at least two. Uh, I don't know um this uh this lore exactly, so that's fine. But this is interesting. Uh, mistletoe and her. I guess she still holds on. I guess. Not sure where that's going to lead. But this, the Valkyries. I don't know if the Valkyries are corrupted or not in this game. But that is definitely interesting to keep note of for, for, for when it came to the, the secret boss. I, I still need to beat a, a God of War overall, actually. That's probably Dark Elf, I think. I'm, I'm still not sure. But a lot but, but a lots of big beasts now. Lots of big beasts. And that thing, like what the fuck is that thing? Yes, yes, shields do exist. Uh Yep, yep, but those are elves, alright. So there's definitely gonna be elves. This. This is a big lore dump I wanted to uh, talk about. Because this is how... This is one of the biggest signs of Ragnarok right here. That is... That is... So good. I absolutely love that. That is so... On point with, with the lore. As it were, a wolf eats the sun. That is so on point. I love that to death. Absolutely love it. Mermaid, I guess? Giant jellyfish. Alright, then tear. That! Like, hello! That's the equivalent of a goddamn Dragon Ball beam clash. Like, it don't get much more hype than that. And also, I will absolutely be using my PlayStation gift cards on this game. Absolutely. fucking lootly I have $90 sitting on my desk right now, so... So, amazing purchase right there. But this game is the fucking game. It's like, everything else was made, this was hype as shit. Love it. But, however... I do now have a backlog I need to go through before these said games come out. So, now Breath of the Wild, in preparation for Breath of the Wild 2, and maybe the Warrior Style game? I, once again, Age of Calamity. That's it! That's what it's called, Age of Calamity. 
So Age of, so maybe Age of Calamity as well before it. Big maybe, big maybe. God of War before God of War Ragnarok. So, so I still have not beaten that yet. But however, I definitely do remember where I am in it. I, I wanted to play more of it, but life happened. I just never got back to it. That's what I blame it on. That's what I blame it on. I blame it on life for, for God of War. I did enjoy it. I definitely did enjoy it. Um, I also should, I, I also, I just want to prepare Splatoon for more Splatfests. I want to do that. And also, and also I want to do Pokemon Sword and Shield Living Decks before Scarlet and Violet come out. I said that repeatedly, but now I have to step on that a little bit because we're already halfway through September and, and I still haven't touched Sword and Shield since. So that's big. And I think that might be it. And I might pick up uh, Xenoblade 3 as well. Maybe. Everything else everything else is like, it's it's cool. Maybe get, maybe not get. That's about what everything else is. And, and those will directly affect uh, the live streams as well in the very near future. Very near future. Th 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 those will be affected. But on that note, uh, that's about everything I, I wanted to talk about. Very good uh, a discussion. I would say. Lot, lots of fun too to just to go back through everything. That was honestly a lot of fun. I should do this more often. I should do this again. This was great. And um, and for the YouTube uh, side of things, assuming I do upload this to YouTube, um, let me know what you think of everything down below. And for Twitch real quick. Um, I do plan on streaming tomorrow. Um, I have an idea of what I want to stream. It's one of two things. It's either Warframe or Splatoon 3. It's one of those two. Uh, I would probably at most um, try to get one well, Splatoon 3. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do next. I just don't know. I'm unsure. I'm, I, I might ask someone for some assistance on that note. So it might be Warframe I do tomorrow. And on that note, I guess I'll see you all next time, uh, whenever that may be. Uh, whenever I catch any of you guys, either in a video or live, I guess. So, I'm done with you now. Oh, wow, it moved on to two. Immediately. Nice. So, yeah, um, I guess I'll see you all, uh, next time. Have a great day.